Alright guys, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses Redux uh, mod with the uh, Rock deck. Last time we defeated Joey and Mako. Um, don't remember how well we did, but um, I don't think they were very hard, is my guess. Because, you know, we made it all in one go. Um, one little deck change is that I got Dissolve Rock. Who, uh, eh, I mean, he's one of the few rocks who you have to unlock via reincarnation and uh, he's actually got like an interesting ability when he flips face up he destroys all uh, cards located on the mountain terrain which um, the mountain terrain honestly like pops up quite often so it's not terrible at all that being said though I mean we did already pass like two of the mountain, or actually, we already passed like three of the mountain heavy maps. So in that sense, that is like the one downside, I suppose. But you know, that's still better than a, a lot of uh, mediocre rocks. Like most of the rocks are just like stat line worse than some, because you either want just the cheapest star cost, the cheapest deck cost, or the highest stat wise. So, uh, here's the Solver Rock instantly, that's pretty cool. That being said, I'm still gonna throw the Wasteland uh, up first. He's got an instant, uh, an instant fusion, which is probably just, uh, you know, this dude. Uh, Vermilion Sparrow, I mean, we can kind of confirm it here. Wolf and Fire Eyes, Flame Cerberus. Well, I guess I was wrong. But it's nice to the, it's nice to know all of the fusions. But that was like one of the things. Like when it comes to like rock, I basically already knew all the uh, all the fusions uh, at the top of my head. All right, well, there's no mountain on this map, so the solver rock really isn't useful for this map. But. Uh. I was throwing a destroyer golem. Slightly better stats is the ID. We got Dragon Piper and that dude, alright. So to be honest, like a lot of the rock strategies just, just throw away your cards as quickly as possible to get like Muka Muka really strong. We may as well tag into you. You should have um, 2600. One thing I didn't do was grind out some baby dragons, which I could do to make uh, getting stone dragon slightly more consistent, but, well, considering Mystical Sand is slightly better, like, I don't know, like, you can get away with uh, lower deck cost monsters for stone dree. So, like, it's only also, like, only a hundred point difference, so it's really not very relevant. I think the other thing is just that uh, Mystical Sand is just easier to get uh, off of grinding as Mystical Sand is the uh, deck leader from the rock deck. Let's see, we don't have enough to uh, use anything. Before we forward though, uh, let's use an Invigoration then on uh, Mystical Sand, make it slightly stronger. He is gonna go for the kill on this thing and probably will destroy uh, Destroyer Golem if he attacks into it. Or not. He doesn't have to if he doesn't want to, you know. See, we do have like all of these cards. I mean, I suppose we can just throw in uh, Beautiful Headhunters to make uh, this sand this way. 2600 is. 
Uh, not enough to destroy Dragon Piper. I think Dragon Piper has the same effect as Bot the Trick, but... Uh, Bot the Trick is a little less cost-heavy, I think, and... I mean, Ultra has much worse stats because of that, because, you know, this doesn't kill. And Spellbounds us, that's unfortunate. Yeah, this, this'll be fine. I point at you, the finger point at, of doom. He's currently got 32 still, so I'll put you over here, though. I I know you get Gate Dig from from him, who is like legitimately pretty decent card, but I think you have to stand like over here or over here. Gate Dig is actually like. I remember getting Gate Deeg in like some of the first runs, but uh, since then we really, we really haven't gotten him since then. Yeah, boom! We got Stone Dragon here. I'll put him in defense mode because we can't beat that thing anyways. And I'll put you over there, sure. Heroes of Dragon Piper will attack. Probably not. Spring of Rebirth. Quick get it to Mooka Mooka. How much would Mooka Mooka get at this point? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, se seven, eight, nine, ten. He gets three thousand extra. So we'd have 4,000 or 5,100 if we do this, so we will probably just win with this. You may as well do it. It's Cherubin the Fire Knight with his 1,100 attack. So yeah, we do end up uh, winning. And like, put it this way, this isn't even Muka Muka at his like, full strength. This is like a mid-game Muka Muka, not even an end-game cleaner. Not the fact that, like, think about also the fact that, like, we're immune to trap cards if we're in uh, our deck leader range. So, some of these battles will be um, a lot easier, specifically like Yu-Gi-Oh! is like super reliant on Mirror Force. So, uh, we didn't get De Gate Deeg, unfortunately, but, you know, we can get a Wolf, Fire Yaru, and Flame Cerberus, so that's cool. So, yeah, next up is uh, Jasper Dice Tutor, who I think is similarly, similarly not that hard. I mean... Shoddy can only is like usually not hard, only maybe tricky if he gets a molten behemoth off early. And you know, sometimes you just have a shitty deck, like that also happens. Jasper has two there. He's got he's got a decent couple of uh, spell cards, or I mean trap cards and some uh, ways to spellbound you. He does have one pretty dangerous monster with uh, Cosmo Queen. But I think he only has one copy of that. 
Um, to be honest, it's not really what I was hoping for as an opening hand. Well, more from Jar, you can uh, go forward, I guess. That being said, Wasteland as an opener is always good. That being, we also have a shit ton of, uh, what's his face? We got a lot of our boosting cards early, which is interesting. Come on, give us something here to play with. Ooh, Millennium Golem. This is about to be fun. Woo! That thing is not strong at all. You are gonna get destroyed, sir. Oh no, he's actually doing the titty blaster attack? He's got a square fucking titties at you. Sorry, Morphin Jar. It is not your day. Something, something. Power increase. The Swords of Revealing Light. I mean, that's unfortunate. Maybe we get like... Oh, we never buy it. Does it work because of uh, our effects? Mm. We'll throw out Mooka Mooka as well. As much as he's probably not gonna get that much stronger, it's still pretty decent. Everything's going straight into defense. Let's hope we get a uh, wasteland. That would be really good. That could be worse. Well, kill it, Millennium Golem. And boom, very easy. That's a shame, no Dark Hole. This is probably like the easiest map to get Dark Hole. As he tends to use dark energy a decent bit. But there are actually like a decent bit of opportunities to get Dark Hole in this game. Or, like, yeah, there's like three or four opponents that use, uh, probably even more, there's like five opponents that use uh, dark energy. So yep, next up is Bakura, who I think is similarly not very hard. I will also say that we're not actually using very much deck cards at all. 872 is low. Like, we can face off against any opponent. Alright, well, this is a map where Dissolver Rock is decent at. That being said, we don't draw it, but, I mean, he would have been decent. But we don't need Destroyer Golem. Boom! Mystical Sand, 3100. Decent!
It's Pot the Trick. It's my boy, Pot the Trick. I like Pot the Trick. I don't know. I just like the name, Pot the Trick. This is kind of it's just a fun name, Pot the Trick. I mean, we've got <laughs> we've got Mr. Diddy Cannon at our disposal as well. This is strange, I kind of want to just be able to get to use Dissolve a Rock's uh, effect. We got more Pot the Tricks. We'll buff up Mystical Sand again. Guess we'll just wait for him to come over to us. Um, sure. Like I said, let him come to us. I know I'm playing this a little differently, but in, in another sense, it's also like just like getting wasteland wouldn't hurt either. Exactly like that. Hey, it's Cursed Dragon. Cursed Dragon is another card that actually wouldn't hurt our deck. As he turns everything into Wasteland and, well, we're good on Wasteland, so there's that. Similar to like Dokuro Rider, although uh, I'd say like the deck cost is pretty high, but on like on another sense, like we've got a deck cost of 872, I think, so we're absolutely fine on that front. Although it does kind of, like it goes, like it's, I'm torn in the sense that it does kind of go against the whole like milling your deck quickly, which is one of the like, it, it, it synergizes well with Mooka Mooka to, like, just be able to throw away a bunch of the random rock cards. Let's see, if we get the Solver Rock, that'd have been epic, but we, we, we did not get him. Alright, goodbye Serpent Night Dragon. Don't know why they decided to just put you in attack position right there, but I mean, I'm not complaining. Serpent Night Dragon is good against some kind of enemy. I don't know which one. He's strong against spellcasters. Okay. Here's Crazy Dragon. He, he, although, a deck cost of 40. Mmm. I mean. I guess we just get another. Um, that Mystical Sand. I mean, Mystical Sand is slightly stronger than. Uh, Millennium uh, Golem, so just it, it makes slightly more sense to go into uh, Mystical Sand than to go into Millennium Golem. Also, costs more stars. <clears throat> All right, we did not get. But what's his face? But
He might attack into weather control, which was will give us the opportunity to strike back with Stone Dragon. Or not. He's afraid. He's afraid of the weather report. Um, more morphing jars. Time seal, that's cool. I'll be honest, we're not gonna need these guys. Well, that sucks. Goodbye, Serpent Knight Dragon, I suppose. Stone G, do your thing. Well, it's a little less fortunate, but uh, we can manage. Uh, what are we getting? Uh, not the, the what's it called, at least. Still 900, it's not bad. Still have enough to just kill Serpent Night Dragon. Take you out. I mean, we're relatively close to um, finishing him off. Like, you might be able to destroy this mystical sand, but uh, I don't think this one was buffed. He's got 4,000 left. Or, I mean, he's got 450 left. He's almost dead. Sure, man. Um, I mean, there he gets try on dragon, so I mean, he manages something, right? Good for him. Dead. Hooray! We did it, boys! We beat Bakura. Not that it was that difficult, but still. We take these. Boom! Sending those flesh wounds. It's gotta hurt. Or at least be unclean.
Got the Cursor Dragon. Well, that ain't bad. And that's also Bacora defeated, who is, um... Yeah, not too difficult. But that does, you know, unlock Yugi, who is at least a bit more difficult. Um, yeah. We'll see you guys, uh... In the next episode of uh, You Get to Do List of the Roses Redux. See you guys next time. Goodbye.